Today is my birthday, so I deserve to watch a really good horror movie. And since I'm doing a bunch of horror movies that have comedy in them, I'm gonna do one of the greatest horror comedies of all time, this classic tale of Little Monsters. It's your new bip. Number one, you gotta keep him out of bright light. Released in 1984, directed by Joe Dante, we are talking about Gremlins, you guys. Gremlins is a classic. It is downright one of those movies I can watch during Christmas and I can watch during Halloween, which I chose to do this year. I love this movie. This is one of those movies I truly love. As a kid, it once again scared me a lot with certain scenes, and then it made me smile and laugh, and I think this movie balances comedy and horror in the best way possible. Speaking of these animatronics and the makeup effects are amazing. I mean, can no one tell me that this Mogwai, aka Gizmo, is the most adorable thing you have ever seen? Oh my gosh, I literally, as a kid, I literally needed one, and it's right there if you see in the back of my bookshelves right there. I had to buy one because it's freaking Gizmo. He's adorable. I mean, bright light, bright light, bright light. I mean, he's so cute. And when he hurts his ear and he wraps his head around, he's like, bruh, bruh. like, I just, I love him. And you want to protect him at all cost. But the movie gives you a great little Easter egg set up with a saying, and whatever you do, do not feed him after midnight and then never never put him near water. Well, every rule gets broken by Billy who retrieves this little gizmo from his dad. Yeah, basically Gizmo has these little baby eggs and they turn into other mogwais and then they eat something after midnight and they just turn into gremlins and these these little ugly creatures that are like this big whatever and they kill people. Yes, this movie they kill people. The scene where they hatch the eggs terrifying stuff the music dun, 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 and the roar, and like coming out of the egg oh my lanta was i afraid of this movie growing up and then of course they like attack people they kill them they kill the teacher puts his hand in there and he's like ah and gets eaten whatever yeah terrifying and then when he shoots him in the school and like trying to kill him and throw billy out a window and stuff like that Terrifying stuff. And then of course the scene where they're eating cookies and the mom murders these gremlins by stabbing one with a knife, throwing one in the microwave, and then the one attacking her in the tree. Terrifying shit. The movie does a really good job though before all the gremlins attack, setting up Billy, setting up the little relationship with the girl, the neighbors, the woman who hates his dog. I mean, it's everywhere. There's great little setup. Joe Dante does a really good job giving these characters little motivations, little things about them so when they do die or certain things happen to them at the very end of this movie, you now know who they are and things kind of feel a little bit stronger. Like when the woman dies who hates the dogs, like he, she hates the dog. She broke his snowman, whatever. Yeah, when she actually dies, gets sung out the window as a kid, I kind of felt bad for her. I was like, oh, I mean, she didn't want to die. I mean, no one wants to die. But as a kid, I just, I didn't really process, you know, death. So when she gets killed, I'm like, did she die? And the gremlins like kill the police, they kill Santa Claus, and of course they go watch Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Of course they would, because they're all sitting there saying, rah, 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 rah. and they, like I said, the animatronics and the makeup on these things, I mean, there's like no CGI in this movie. Like when they're sitting in the bar and we get a little montage of all of them sitting there dancing, spinning around and doing little dances, and the one sitting in the corner being like LA Noir kind of vibe, it's really funny. Like, it's really funny. And the movie does a great job giving us that dark humor. How the woman is, like, basically giving them all beer and they're slamming drinks, whatever. And they're like, give me a cigarette. And then she figures out she, they're scared of light, whatever. It's great stuff like that. And then when they attack everyone in the town, it's exciting. It's not bloody whatsoever. I mean, when they get in the mall, or that's not really a mall, it's a store. 
when he like shoots him with an arrow or whatever and he's bleeding out of his head and he gets a chainsaw that's when it gets kind of like more bloody and darker but besides that i mean the movie's really calm so like kids could watch it but it can give you nightmares overall gremlins is one of those movies you could watch it at christmas time it has a good christmas feel to it but it also has a really good horror vibe of halloween it is a pretty scary movie at times it's very silly and goofy but that's the whole vibe this week of comedy and horror and this movie blends it so well. Mogwai's like are so cute and Gizmo is the king of them all. This movie balances comedy so well. And before I end this review, of course I have to mention the famous scene that a lot of people talk about is the famous scene where the girlfriend basically explains to Billy about how her dad died trying to be Santa Claus. And I won't spoil the story if you haven't seen Gremlins, but it's a really dark story. That is a dark story. You're like, fuck he did that and then that's how you look oh my god that's a dark story so if you're watching gremlins keep an eye out for the scene where she tells the story about her dad it's it's a little hard it's it's it hits it's like fuck man that's awful and then of course the ending happens where you know they fight the main gremlin they spike is his name and it's it's a really fun movie and gremlins is a classic and i'm gonna give gremlins an a plus now, I do not care to review the sequel because the sequel gets into way more of a goofy area. This movie balances it pretty darn well. So if you've never seen Gremlins, go and watch Gremlins, guys. It is a classic. Anyway, guys, guys, enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.